Yeah. Different space. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. To welcome episode back. One, oh, one. Oh, one. Mm. Holiday season is coming up. God damn, December went crazy. Oh, I know. Episode 101 of the Mr. Know It All podcast. Mm-hmm. I am your host, Mr. Know It All, <laughs> aka Keith Saunders, BKA Michael Voorhees, and aka Haiku. If you want to be rapper about it. And I spit the hot <laughs> fire. What is my bomb? There we go. So, I'm going to introduce you to my left first because we got special guests in the building. Yeah. Kelly. That's me. Uh huh. KQ. Yep. Kelly. And to my right, I special like guest hey. in the building. Hey special now. guest in the building. Hey now. Ah, uh, I don't. This man really Welcome, needs some introduction. He this, needs introduction. I'm you know, a media whore, and I need all the introductions. <laughs> I'm not gonna pass that. <laughs> all right. So this man has been in this business: radio, podcasting, mm-hmm. internet radio, yeah, yeah. Philadelphia radio, yeah, yeah. East Coast radio, yeah. actually New York radio. He's been a Belgium. been around Belgium, Belgium radio, like KK yeah, radio I mean, just just been around your airwaves for now over two decades. Alaska, I was on in Alaska. You was in Alaska. Wow! Yikes! See that's nine oh seven jams in Alaska. Wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! Yeah, absolutely. So, so if anybody that knows anything about doing a podcast, radio show, any type of thing, none of you motherfuckers got no type of tips for me. Because this man's seen it all, been through it all, heard it all, and done it all. And I'm talking about the man to my right. DJ True. Official voice of the streets <laughs> and the internet. Uh, drop a bomb for it. From MySpace. I got some, some cats picking me up from MySpace. My Damn. Space. And, I, you know, I record everything. You know, my life is a movie that needs to be recorded and jotted down. Yeah, we're going to talk about that because, it's like I said before, we were talking earlier before all the introductions just about every week it seems like you dig in the crates and put up a put up a picture, a photo or two, photo op interview or something like mm-hmm. that. Next to somebody that's extremely, right. extremely famous, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, like, like taking pictures with billionaires and shit like that, just, just because. Right. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah, we we, we got to hear some shit about that. Yeah, like, a lot of times they want to take pictures with me, you know. Even mm-hmm. with, even with Floyd, yeah, uh, yeah, he forced me to take pictures with him oh, yeah. after I gave him like the best intro he's ever heard. Really, since Michael Buffer introduced him into MGM, uh, <laughs> the MGM in Vegas. Now, was he money at the time, or was he pretty boy? Oh, no, he was money. It was money at the TNT, time? TNT, money team. The money team was in full effect. Oh, really? Was it? So um, this was after Zab and shit like that. Right. So mm. this was circa 2000. I know he came to the city to do an event at the villa. And right. We booked him in, and somehow I ended up... That 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 moment in my life opened up the, the biggest dream come true moment in the history, I could have stopped my career. Right, right. And just said I've, I've I've accomplished everything I've ever wanted to do. Right, right. After the Floyd situation, mm. um, but you know you can't do that because you know you just can't. You know, it's always something bigger. Let me just drop a bomb. Too. So, so I also, but I want to talk about because um, I know a lot of these people that uh, that uh, you we spoke about and took pictures with. You did interviews with. Do you do now? Or is that still the property of your former employer? Or do no, you, I, do you, I don't have a former employer. I am the employee. Oh employer. shit! So you still got. So you got. You got dats and disc and all that I, other shit I of do. interviews. I do. I have tapes. I have. Wow. I have. I have, I have this one tape mm-hmm. that there were two copies made. Right. Right. One of them got burned in a fire. Oh shit! There is another copy of a tape on 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 an eight on a. One of those uh, video camera tapes um, that is actually it has the VHS. It, 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 no, it might have been an ADAT. Um, ADAT, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it actually has me interviewing uh, Aaliyah oh once before gosh. she died. Gosh, wow! It has me with uh, Dwayne Martin, holy um, shit, Lionel Richie. I caught him coming out of the bushes with with some white woman. That's when I found out. <laughs> I can't. That's when I found I'm out that, that his daughter was his daughter. Uh, what's her name? The, the Nicole Richie. Nicole, Nicole Richie. Richie. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, they was like, yeah, you know, that's her, her, his, her, his daughter. I'm like, okay, now it makes sense. Adopted. It's hot. It yeah, makes the sense hot, with hot. the white Look, girl. Look, ado- adopted now, daughter. Mm. Right. So now it's like, wow, wow. And as and, actually, what's the name? Niece. And, and Sheila the, Eve. That, oh, word. that personal tape of interviews yeah. is only surpassed by, now this is something you can actually go see. If you go onto uh, YouTube and uh, look up the Janet Jackson MTV Icon special. Okay. Um, I'm featured in that three times. You oh, can actually shit. see me 
Destiny's Child is singing to me. Oh, I have uh, yeah. Stevie Wonder was saying something with Shaquille O'Neal, and they panned the camera down to me. And then there's one more option uh, opportunity that came up with Macy Gray. Oh wow! Um, and then the behind the scenes stuff. I went by, I went backstage and. Let me get uh let me go get you get you a broom and dustpan for all the names you just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> you might drop your name. Dog like dropping the names. shit out of them names though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? You know who it is, your boy, the D Block General, Jada Kiss. You know what I mean? Al Kata Jada. And right now I'm riding with the official voice of the street. And that's the truth, you heard? We going in, we getting money, so stop hating. <laughs>